like going with a basic little perk to make her existing stuff a little bit better. And let's get some extra perks. Alright. Get ready as soon as we get two more victims. I mean, friends. 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 Rotten fields on the cold wind farm. Go. This is weird. He feels a little floaty. Maybe I'm. I don't know. I shouldn't have a bad connection to my computer. It's that stupid. He feels kind of floaty. That's odd. Maybe it's just from playing League and Friday the 13th lately. I don't know. Absolutely no sense. Oh, you got me. Good job, dickhead. I really wish they would come up with something more innovative, maybe a little bit more skill-based than, hey, let me hop through a window eight times, or, hey, let me throw a pallet down in your face that you have to stop, and even though you're more agile and strength strong than me, you have to stop and go over it, go through it instead of just going over it. I don't know. It just feels bad and unoriginal to me. That, that is the main mechanic of surviving in this game. And especially 
Don't get me wrong. Friday the 13th has a lot of bugs that's going to have to work on. But it's worth the progress. That's what it's there for. It has so much more that the survivors can do besides sit next to a generator tinkering with it, waiting for the killer to find it. And it makes for a more enthralling game. You feel more immersed into it because you actually have a decision and more... Like, you have things to do in the game. A game in comparison to this one. Most of the most of the killers in this game are not that overpowered, but Jason, in my opinion, right now is wildly overpowered. But it's not based on his ability to kill oh! things like that. It's based on his sense of ability. He can see you from insanely far away, like probably half to three quarters of the map away. He can see you, if you're outside, you glow red. Or if you're in a house, the entire house goes red. So there's no, there's no reason to try to sneak it out. back to the house or the shack in case they're going for him. Hmm, looks like they did not go for him. Okay. Besides that one girl, this was a very unaltruistic team. I have to say. this guy's plan is right now because he doesn't even have enough generators activated to spawn the hatch so he's not gonna be doing very much. Hmm. Hello and goodbye, ah. amigo. Just a bad run, fella. A bad run in a bad area. chasing Dwight's, but it seems more fun than chasing just about any other survivor in the game. Probably a second. <laughs> so in the last game I started talking about what makes Jason overpowered, right, in my opinion, in the Friday 
At this point, he has the ability sight that he or senses for the phone that he can use. I want to say it has about a 10 second or 12 second window that he can use it for, and it probably recharges in about 20 or 30 seconds. With this, he can see from about half to three quarters of the map in a radius around him. He sees little circles, like little pings that pop up. It looks like kind of like bubbles. Every time anyone's making any sound. And that's where the radio and the firecrackers come into the game as a distraction because they make those little bubbles too. But if you're outside, you glow red. And he can track exactly where you are. And if you're in a house and you're not hiding under a bed, the house glows. So... The distractions don't seem like they have much to them. Like, it doesn't seem like they do enough. Hag on Lampkin Lane. I've only played, gotten to play this map like maybe 10 times the entire time I've played that it's been out. So I'm not super, super solid on this map. But the Hag's pretty strong, so I'm not really worried about it. With the ability to teleport all over the place. The maze likeness of this map that a lot of people complain about doesn't really affect her as much because I don't have to obey the laws of physics. So, we're gonna, uh, but uh, until I get a survivor, I'm going to try to stick on the Friday the 13th topic. You, using the senses, you can pinpoint so well all your other abilities, like. The shift, the it, shift is like a short range teleport. It makes you despawn and you can fly at a very fast speed. And it's pretty similar to, like if you've ever seen the Evil Dead, the, uh, the way the entity in the woods looked when it was flying. It's kind of, what does he see? And it's very strong, no doubt. But the thing that makes it overpowered is sense is comes back to senses because I can turn on senses and fly exactly to you because you're glowing red. So there's no way for you to try to evade. Them. I feel like senses needs to be nerfed, if you will. Not made of useless or anything. I'm not trying to say that. I just feel like it needs to be depowered somewhere. Lord Lord Got you, girly. Oh, wow. What's the what's with the DC and every time you get caught anymore? People are really getting buttered about getting seen by the hag. This is odd. Go out this window and go over here. If you did, if you were me, you would have went around this way. Back into house. Well, I can find you. I need a trap in here. Oh. Someone's 
been down here. Where'd you go? Where did you go? There you go. Hi, Meg. Why did you stop running? Okay. Wow. Everybody else DC. What in the world is going on with that? Am I having problems with my connection? I don't believe I am. Oh, she might get off. Nope. Not quite. I don't understand why 